So, how are we going to reach level 99 in a few hours? With the Reaper, an enemy we can meet the second time we go to Mementos, but we need some preparations to beat him, so let's talk about what we need to do. When you can start hanging out with the Confidant, you need to reach rank 5 with Ryuji to unlock the gym and Takemi for some items. We need to visit the gym 14 times to increase our HP so that the Reaper won't kill us and at the same time choose 14 proteins. You can buy them in the discounts during Shibuya. We need to do only one last thing before the second palace and it's to take the items in the box in your room. You find them only if you have downloaded the Legacy Bundle. It's free, so this shouldn't be a problem for anyone. When you unlock the museum, infiltrate the palace and reach the treasure. We need to do it to unlock the electric chair. When we reach the treasure, don't leave the palace, we still need to do some things. First, to reach level 24. To do it, we need to have only Joker in the party, a persona with an almighty skill, I use Messiah Picaro, a persona with Dormina, for example Succubus, Ariadne Picaro, Tin Glasses and to play on Merciless. In this way, we can kill the Shadow in one shot. The enemy we are going to kill is the Shadow in the first exhibition room near the exit. At the start of the fight, use Dormina, then an almighty skill to do technical damage and kill the enemy. To respawn the Shadow, reach the next room and come back. But after 2 or 3 battles, you need to restore SP, and that's why we booked Ariadne. Fight against the other enemy in the first exhibition room with only stun in the party. Use Agir Maragi with fun, because there's always an enemy weak to fire, and use the button pass to give the turn to Joker. Equip Ariadne and use Soma. Thanks to our trait, you won't consume the item. We need to repeat this process until level 24. It took me 24 Shikyoji to do it from level 16. After you leveled up, go to the Velvet Room. The first thing we need to do is to rank up the Strength Confidant by creating some personas with a precise skill. I put an image on I was able to fusion the three personas. Post the video if you need it. Now we need to itemize some personas. Messiah to obtain an armor. Messiah Picaro to obtain instant heal. Tsukiyomi Picaro to obtain spellmaster. Arsene for a weapon. Ariadne Picaro for attack up at the start of the fight, even though it's not really that helpful. And the last one is Rakshasa for regenerate one, but we need to fusion it. So here's another image. The last thing required in the Valve Room is to leave Messiah, the normal version in the lockdown, to unlock Drinkers. You'll obtain it at 100% after 5 days, then you can reclaim the persona and leave it for another 5 days for another skill. Maybe you can obtain something useful. We use Messiah normal version because he unlock a better skill than his speaker version when he level up and God sense is more reliable than Hagden Yastra. Before leaving the palace, see if you have at least 206,000 yen for buying some items from Takemi, 2000 yen for each time you need to go to the gym, and 2000 yen for the proteins. In case you need to farm yen, you can kill some enemies in the palace while using the armband or sell something to Iwai. The last things we need to do are to buy region free, SP free, and some medicines, the one that recovers 100 HP, from Takemi and reach at least 400 HP with the gym. If you want to make the battle easier, go for 500, but it requires 9 more times at the gym with the proteins. And the cost is 36,000 yen. When you have done both things, you are ready to go to Mementos. Remember to equip Regen, the armor, the weapon, and use the skill cards on Messiah. In the team add Ryuji, En and Yusuke, because their traits are going to be useful in the fight. This time we need to change the difficulty to easy. Go to the path of a Yatsubus, where Morgana will tell you about the Reaper, wait 5 minutes for it to spawn and let it ambush you, because in this way it's going to have only one turn each time, then two. The fight is divided in two phases. The first one goes from 100 to 50% of the Reaper's HP. We need to follow four simple things here. Attack only if you have more than 300 HP, if not use Guard. Use God's Hand only when you have full HP, don't use Megidolon, we need it in the second phase, and when the Reaper is focused to use Guard. We need to follow these things to give zero chance for the Reaper to kill us. 
The second phase goes from 50 to 0% of the Reaper's HP and use only Gun, Almighty and Dista kill skills. With three new add, Megidolan, Spirit Leech and Life Leech. The last one is going to make the battle longer because it heals the Reaper. But thanks to God's hand, that healing won't be a problem for us. The side effect is that the skill puts us in a danger spot now, because the Reaper has a way to kill us. A riot gun critical damage followed by life leech that can deal 320 damage. So it's risky to use the skill, but we bet on the fact that this combo has a really low percentage to happen. If you want, you can take it safe by using all the attacks, but in this way it will take a long time to beat the Reaper. In this phase we have two more things to follow. Use guard if you're under 330 HP and never end a turn with less than 150 HP. Use a medicine to recover them. We didn't use the speed to give us a little push to make this phase faster. Only the first time we fight against the Reaper is going to take at least one hour. But after the battle we level up and gain more HP with Joker and regenerate free with Messiah. So we can equip SP3 and every two turns use Megiddo Hound to make the second battle easier and this time we can attack even when the Reaper is focused, if we have over 450 HP. If you want, you can use even God Sense, but only when you have full HP. When we finish the battle, Messiah will unlock Invigorate 3, so we can equip a Kuzono Hat Oops with Spellmaster to use Megiddo Hound every turn. And this is the strategy we are going to use until level 99. You can even play with Holy Joker in the party for more XP. It takes 15 Reapers in total. But every battle will be easier and easier, and Messiah will unlock even Almighty Boost to deal more damage. Thanks for watching.